Hello everyone, welcome to Homeschool Happy Hour. My name is Melody, mom of four in our blended family of six. And today is a collaboration that I am hosting and putting together with some other secular homeschoolers where we are going to talk all about time, time management, how do we balance it all as homeschoolers. Before we go any further, please take a second to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel so that you can follow along and support my channel as I grow, as I get to know more of you and have more opportunity to share homeschool lifestyle, homeschool curriculum resources, all that fun stuff. I am excited to be hosting this collaboration along with a list of some amazing secular homeschoolers. So make sure that when you're finished watching this video, you check out the playlist and go to the other channels. Hit subscribe on their channels because they have a lot of fun and interesting and motivational things to share with you. And I would hate for any of you to miss out. In today's video, I am going to be discussing time management as a full-time homeschooler and as a working homeschooler, a little bit of both, because those two roles look different. And I'm going to be talking about how I balance both of those roles in our home, in our homeschool. If you are new here, as a reminder, I am also homeschooling after divorce, meaning that I have shared parenting time with my children's biological parent. And so our schedule, which means my schedule, is a little bit different than a homeschool family that maybe has their kids full time or isn't working at all. Every home is different and that is why I think it's so important for us to look and see how different people are doing things, how different thing people are balancing things so we can have ideas and do some troubleshooting on what might work best for us. Over the years, I have found that there are two general opinions from the outside about how homeschoolers should or do manage their time. The first opinion is people sometimes make an assumption that we have all the time in the world because all we're doing is homeschooling and therefore we should be able to add in whatever extra little thing they want for us to do usually for them or whatever suggestions they think we should do with our time. The second assumption is that we shouldn't do anything else because we're supposed to be homeschooling and if we're doing anything outside of that, then that is proof that we are not actually homeschooling effectively. I would like to first and foremost take both of those assumptions and just trash them because we all know they're completely wrong and really the best you can do with those is just ignore them. Chances are in your home you have days where you feel like you have absolutely no time at all and days where you have more time than you know what to do with depending on how many kids you have, whether or not you work and how long you've been homeschooling you might have more of one than the other, but there's usually a combination of both. That's just life for anyone. Homeschool families are no different. I do have videos talking about my plans for my kids. And if that is what you're looking for, make sure that you check out videos that are showing you what our routine and what our plan is. This video is specific to me as a homeschool mom. How do I manage my time and how do I get things done? The best way that I have found to manage my homeschool is with a block schedule. I have the attention span of a squirrel and I easily can go from being super tunnel visioned into one item or topic or chore or task to distracted and moved on to something different. And in some ways this is a good thing and in some ways it, this is a bad thing. As a homeschool parent, it is so easy to forget about what you need to do for you as a person and to put your kids first, which I'm not saying we shouldn't. Of course, our children come first. We are homeschooling them. But can you really take care of your children first if you aren't taking care of yourself? And are you really able to get other things done if you're always at the whim of your children? Probably not. So it's that balance question again. 
In order to help me find balance, I use this block schedule. I have it over here. It looks fancier than it is. And I basically have it framed out. I just threw it in an extra little frame that I had sitting around the house. I probably could write on this with a whiteboard marker if I wanted to, but I probably won't. Let's take a look at this close up for a second. Unfortunately, in the frame, it was giving a terrible glare, so I just popped it out. It's just a simple piece of paper that I printed off of my computer. And it, as you can see, I've got two columns. I have a day at home and I have a day at school. Now, when I am home with my children, obviously our routine is different than on a day where I might work as a substitute at the local public school. So we're gonna take a look at each side individually. As you can see, they're both built in the same way. When I am home for the day with the girls, I am going to do a block for each section of my day. I'm gonna start my day, I've got a two hour block where I can do self care, fix my husband's lunch coffee, fitness, shower, dress, do so any prep work that is necessary for our school day, and of course take care of any chores that we need. From eight to 11, I have a three hour block that I'm calling school time. And that is when I can help my kids with one-on-one -on -one work. We can do group subjects. If my children are not home, or if they don't need my help in that moment, I've given myself professional development and home management as tasks. Now I know it might seem silly, but I'm easily distracted. And so having these list of things that I can do with my time really helps me focus my day. Midday, we have a two hour break, so to speak. We do have piano lessons once a week, and this does give me time to prep and plan, do lunch, all of the fun midday things. And of course, it's nice to have some time to just rest in the middle of the day. One of my worst habits is just the go, go, go that I feel obligated to keep at. And I think this year with my motto being KISS, keep it simple, I am trying really hard to incorporate rest intentionally into our day so that we're not constantly overwhelmed. Then you can see in the afternoons, I have content creation, meaning this is when I'm gonna work on filming and writing and research anything for content. My older homeschooler, as you can see, midday break is chauffeur services. I will be taking her to the public school in the afternoon. So it'll just be me and my younger homeschooler at that time. She can work independently. If she's home, of course, I am available to help her during this time as needed, but I've set up her day so that she can also do independent work during this time. In the afternoons, we have sports and evening prep. I'm so happy to be living in town now so I can drop them off for their practices and then I can actually get some things done at the house and prep meals at that time. That should make our life so much simpler. And then I do have a dedicated family time from five to seven. Keep in mind, these to-dos over here are just for me, not for the kids. The kids have their own things that they need to be working on, but I needed a place where I could focus on just what do I need to do with my time or what could I be doing with this time? And then of course we finish our day gearing down from seven to nine. I have chose some things like fitness and reading up here, the professional development, those types of things that I want to do for myself tend to get forgotten or put aside for other things. And this year it is my intention to make sure and set aside time for those because I want to do them. And I think I need to put some time into the things that I value for myself. If I look over here, a day at school, meaning it is a day that I'm working as a substitute teacher, of course, it's much simpler. I'm gone the majority of the day. The beginning and the end of my day are the same, but I've taken out this whole midsection and I'm just gone. So sometimes my kiddos come to school with me and volunteer at the school. Sometimes my husband is home to help them with their work. Sometimes they're not even home at all because they are with their biological dad at that time. So 
it is pretty simple. That is kind of on purpose. I don't want to overcomplicate things, but I still want reminders. And so this is my go-to reminder for my day-to-day -day tasks. Hopefully that helps to explain a little bit how I arrange my day and how I keep myself organized. In addition to that framed schedule, I will also be using timers on my phone and have a schedule on my phone for the most important parts, particularly content creation and writing. This is something that I'm really wanting to put more energy into because you get out what you put in, right? And it is also something that I tend to put in the back seat first before anything else. And so if I want to make forward momentum on that, I need to set time on that and I need to dedicate time to that. My children are old enough. I feel like that is doable and reasonable. And so I will be giving myself reminders on my phone to make sure that that happens. Now, of course, this schedule is subject to change. As with anything, we do try to go with the flow, keep it simple. But for right now, this is what works well for us. I hope it's given you some ideas on what might or might not work for you. If you have suggestions on things that have worked really well for you, make sure you drop it in that comment box so that we can have a conversation, not just me and you, but with other homeschoolers, we can jump in and try and do some troubleshooting because sometimes organizing our lives can feel a little bit overwhelming and it's nice to have some inspiration and tidbits from as many people as possible. No matter how you choose to organize your day, your life, your week, I hope that you find something that works well for you and that helps you feel satisfied at the end of the day with what you are getting done and how you're doing things. That is all I have for you today, so I will catch you later.